everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new DC Collectible 7 inch scale Arsenal figure from their Arrow TV series line. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we've seen with the other Arrow figures. You've got the white and green borders, the figures clearly displayed in the window box packaging along with the accessories. Off to the side, you have the name of the character, it tells us this is figure number seven in the series. On the side we have a look at the figure and then on the back we have the arrow logo and a look at all three figures in this wave. So Arsenal, Felicity Smoke and John Diggle. And we've already looked at Felicity and, and Diggle. Uh, those were released uh, several weeks ago. And then down below it tells us that the figure was sculpted by Eric Sosa. Okay so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now before we look at the actual figure, let's first take a look at the accessories that come with it. So first of all, the figure comes with four different pairs of hands. So he comes with a pair of grip hands, and these are the ones that are attached to the figure when you take it out of the packaging. And these are for basically holding his bow. And you can put it in his left or his right hand with these. And then he comes with just a completely open pair of hands. And then he's got a pair of hands for pulling the bow back. The, the fingers are kind of sculpted, so, you know, to kind of grab the string. So um, that's basically what those hands are for. And then he comes with a pair of closed-fisted hands. Now the figure also comes with a bow. Now i got to say, this bow, I think, is a little bit on the large size. I think, you know, they kind of overdid it uh, with the sizing on this bow. It would have been, I think, better if it had been a little bit smaller. Um, here it is, you know, compared to Arrow's bow, compound bow, and you can see how much bigger it is. So I, I think they definitely overdid the size on this bow. But I do like the coloring. You've got the red and the black, um, and then you've got that kind of elastic type string. It comes with one arrow, and again, the arrow is just the staff and the arrowhead are black, and then the, the feathers are, are red. And he's also got some arrows that are in his quiver, but they're not removable. So even though he does come with this single arrow, the hands that he comes with really are not sculpted very well to hold the arrow at all. So, you know, it's not, they didn't like put enough space between fingers or anything to kind of stick the arrow in like we've seen with previous uh, characters that come with arrows. So that's a little disappointing. Of course, it doesn't really matter that much because with the lack of articulation on the figure, you you can't really get him in any kind of bow uh, firing positions. And we'll look at that when we look at the figure. And then he's finally got this big kind of knife, which actually is not something I think he actually um, has. I think they just kind of added this, but I, I looked... You know, went back and looked at images of, of the character in costume, and I don't think this is a knife that he actually has in, in the TV show. So the f uh, figure has a sheath for that knife, and it's on his side here. So again, this is why I say I don't think he has it in the TV show, because he doesn't actually, when looking at the images and stuff, he doesn't actually have a knife that's it's on the side like this. Now, he does have a knife in the back, which is actually, you know, in the actual TV show, this knife is actually much, it's, it's a bit bigger. It should stick out a bit. So I think that's what this knife is supposed to be. Um, they just sculpted a little teeny tiny one on his back, which is not removable. But they should have actually just put this on his back. I don't know why they did. Maybe it restricts movement, and so they put it on the side. But, but I think this is actually, if it were completely TV accurate, would be... Um, on his back. And then, as I mentioned, he's got the arrows that are in the um, sheath. He's got uh, uh, five arrows. Yeah, five arrows that are in the back, and they're not removable. And they take up pretty much the entire. So you can't actually. There's really not even room to stick that one loose one in there. So um, you either have to kind of have him hold it, or or set it aside because it's not going to fit in here with these existing five arrows. Okay, so. Here's a look at the figure itself. Now you can see while he's holding the bow, you can again kind of just see that it, that bow is definitely a bit on the large size. I also don't really like how the hood looks on this figure. Um, I don't like how it basically lays on the figure's head. The, 
the um, paint applications are nice on the figure. I do like the paint applications. I think they look very good for the most part. You've got some, uh, you know, red and black is his costume, but then you've got some wash work here on his jacket, so it gets darker down towards the bottom. And same on the hood itself, you got some wash work. So I think some really nice detailing with the paint applications on this figure. Uh, they did a nice job with that. But again, I don't like the hood. I don't like how the hood is shaped on his head. It doesn't really look like it does in the TV series. It's almost a two square looking around his face. So I don't really like that. It is, it's, it's a vinyl material like we've seen with the other figures uh, with hoods um, from DC Collectibles. However, it's a little more stiff. And so it is, you can pull it back if you want, but it's a little more difficult than like say with the arrow figure. But, um, you know, I like the head sculpt. I think they actually did a really nice job with the head sculpt on this. I think they've captured the likeness of the character pretty good with it. Um, I like the hair, I like the shading in the hair. And the skin tones are pretty good. Maybe his lips are a little bit too red, but otherwise, I, I think they did a pretty good job with the head sculpt. So, you know, kind of like with, you know, a lot of these figures, I actually kind of like the figure better without the hood on. Um, and you can, you know, kind of pull it back off of his head. The sculpting detail on the rest of the figure is pretty nice. Now the quiver is not removable. It's, it's glued on the back. Uh, he's got the little knife, which I think is a little too small on his, on his back belt. Again, I think this this one they have on the side is really supposed to be the one that he features on the back they just must have put it on the side because they felt it would restrict movement too much on the back I like yeah you know, he's got the little arrows on his legs sculpted on there and then he's got these things down by his feet I think maybe these are supposed to be bow stabs or something I'm not 100% sure but they look pretty good and they've got the straps and everything and I will say with the shoes um, it looks like he's wearing a big pair of high tops. Um, so they look, I think these flat, I know he's got the actual flaps on, on the shoes. So that is pretty accurate, but I th almost think that maybe they're a little too big. I don't know. It's hard, I haven't been able to get a really good look at his feet. Um, but I don't recall him having quite the, that big of flaps on his shoes. And like I said, it looks like he's just kind of wearing a pair of high tops or something. Okay. So this figure stands just a little bit under seven inches tall. He is not as tall as the arrow figure, so, you know, they're pretty close in height, but arrow is a little bit taller. Okay, so articulation on this figure, well, I'm not going to lie, it's not very good for the most part, um, especially for a character like this, uh, you know, who fires a bow and arrow. Um, you're really not going to get him in any kind of good bow firing uh, positions with this figure. So the head is just on a ball joint. Um, now, when the hood is up, it, it's very hard to move the head at all. But, you know, he is on the ball joint, so he can look left and right. Now, the hood, of course, doesn't move with the head. So if you put the hood up after turning the head, he's going to be looking straight into his hood. He has a little bit of up and down movement, but not a whole lot. And then he can kind of pivot his head to the left and to the right. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joints. Now these straps are just uh, sculpted on there, so they don't limit uh, any of the arm movement there. And he's got good rotation. There is no thigh or there is no bicep swivel on this, and then just single hinged elbows, so he can only bend his elbow about that much. And there's no swivel on the elbows either, so you know he can't really reach back for his arrows. And again, you're not going to get him in very, you know, he can't cross his arms over because there's no rotation there at all. So you, you're not going to get in any kind of bow firing positions, unfortunately. He does have the swivels at the uh, hands and he's got the hinges on the hands. So he's got the up and down movement uh, there with the hands. No midsection uh, joint. He does have a waist swivel. Now that's probably why they put this big knife on the side as opposed to the back so it didn't limit that waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints so he can get his legs out about that much. He can't do his legs forward that much. He can only do his leg forward about that much and he really can't do his leg back at all. He does have the thigh swivel. He does have a double jointed knee so he can bend his knee about that much. And then he has he has swivels on the feet, and he's got some up and down movement, but with these big uh, flaps on the shoes, that pretty much limits. Um, that's about as much back and up and down movement you can get with the foot, and then there's no ankle pivot. And then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my view. Overall, I'd have to say that this isn't a great figure. It's an okay figure. My two biggest complaints with it 
actually my three biggest complaints with it is a I don't really like how the the hood looks on the figure I don't like the shape of it I don't like the articulation too much on the figure especially having recently looked at the new icons green arrow figure when you compare the articulation on that figure to this one uh, this one is very disappointing you really just can't get them in very good bow firing poses or anything especially with like the single hinged elbow and stuff and then finally I, I think his bow is just way too big for the figure that being said, though, if you are a fan of the Aero TV series, I think this is one that you'll still want to add to your collection. Um, it does have nice paint applications on it, and, you know, Arsenal is a pretty important character. So, like I said, if you've been collecting the other figures in this line, I think you'll still want to add this to your collection. Now, this figure is slated to hit comic and specialty shops this Wednesday. I got mine a little early off a of Big Bad Toy Store. They, they apparently got it in early, so I went on and, and got it from there. But it should be hitting all comic and specialty shops uh, this coming. Wednesday. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, please leave a comment, let us know what you think, and if you're so inclined, please like the video. And until next time, I'll catch you later.